Good day everyone, I am Market M. Ibisate and I am going to discuss to you the functional growth of carboxylic acid. In IUPAC nomenclature, carboxylic acids are identified by a suffix added to the parent name of the longest chain. The first thing we have to know is if the COOH is bonded to a chain of carbons, find the longest chain and containing the COOH group and change the E ending of the parent alkane to the suffix oic acid. If the COOH group is bonded to a ring, name the ring and add the word carboxylic acid. To further understand, we have here an example. We have hexanoic acid. To draw its structure, we start by its parent chain, which have six carbons since its name is hexa, and we have to add the functional group of carboxylic acid, which is the COOH group, to the end of the parent chain. Next, we have octophorinoic acid. To draw its structure, we start again by its parent chain, which have 8 carbon chain and add the functional group COOH to the end or start of the parent chain. And we have to put an alkene to the carbon 4. And there we have it, the octophorinoic acid. Next, we have hexane dioic acid. From the name, we can identify it have 2 COOH group. From the prefix di and 6 carbon parent chain, from the name hex, we draw the parent chain which is 6 carbon and draw the COOH group to both end of the structure since it have 2 carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are common in nature and used for a multitude of purposes. Some carboxylic acids that are found in nature are citric acid and glycolic acid. Citric acid is found in many fruits and accounts for their sour flavor. Some of examples of these are oranges and lemon. While glycolic acid is the smallest of the acid class known as the ahydroxy acid and has found use in both the food processing and cosmetic industry. In food processing, it is used as a preservative and in the skincare industry, it is used most often as a chemical pill to reduce the facial scarring by acne. Good day everyone, I am Bianca Devona L. Ruiz and I'm going to tackle about the functional group of aldehydes. Aldehydes are going to be named similarly to alcohols, but they get an A-L ending. And the only major difference between the way that you name them is because aldehydes are double-bonded oxygen at the end of a molecule. We don't need a number to tell us where the double-bonded oxygen is. That's pen for 5. It has all single bonds, so it's an aldehyde. Again, we don't need a number to say where the aldehyde is because it has to be at the very beginning. It has to be on carbon 1. Next, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a pent as well. It's all single bonds except, of course, for the double bonded oxygen. All the carbon carbon bonds are single. That's why we call it as pentanol. It is the same molecule, except here that we have two single carbon chains, and that's on carbon 4. So, it's 4 4 dimethyl pentanol. And finally, I just want to point out that the aldehyde gets precedence over alcohol in naming. So if you have both, it's an aldehyde. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is octanol. And on carbon 7, we have an OH group. Now, when an OH group is the most interesting bit, we name it as an alcohol. Octanol to be precise. But here, we call it a hydroxy 7 hydroxy octanol. Aldehydes can be found in food, like octanol is found both in orange oil and orange juice. It's used industrially to supply an orange, especially to perfumes and food preparations. Aldehyde can be found in human body, like retinaldehyde is one of the many forms of vitamin A and the chemical basis of human and animal vision. It allows certain microorganisms to convert light into metabolic energy.